Welcome dear children to St Paul's Convent High School online learning standard 3 subject maths and today's topic is measurement of time children we all use clocks to know the time the numbers 1 to 12 are written on the dial of the clock the short hand is the hour hand and the long hand is the minute hand reading the time observe the face of the clock children you may all have like this clock in your house observe the clock carefully the face of the clock is marked with the numbers 1 to 12 you can see over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 the clock has two hands one hand is long and the other is short the long hand is the minute hand it shows minutes and the short hand is the hour hand it shows hours when the minute hand is at 12 the hour hand tells us the hour of the day now children look at this watch carefully the long hand is the minute hand and the short hand is the hour hand when the long hand is at 12 at the same moment the short hand means the hour hand is on whichever number that is the hour of that day now you can see in this clock the long hand is at 12 and the short hand is at 2 so what is the time in the clock very good it's 2 o'clock we have learned this is an hour hand this is a minute hand and this is a second hand the short hand moves slowly but the long hand moves faster children if you look at the clock you can see this is the hour hand which moves very slowly whereas the minute hand moves very faster when the hour hand is at 5 and the minute hand is at 12 it is 5 o'clock and we write it as 5 colon 00 now look at the clock carefully the short hand or you can say hour hand is at 5 and the minute hand is at 12 so what is the time in the clock very good it's 5 o'clock when the hour hand is at 3 and the minute hand is at 12 it is 3 o'clock and we write it as 3 colon 0 0 now you can see in this clock the hour hand is at 3 and the minute hand is at 12 so it is 3 o'clock let us do this following exercise tick the correct clock look at the first clock the hour hand is on 3 and the minute hand is at 12 and we have to find out what will be the time after 1 hour so let's do it whether it will be a 4 o'clock 2 o'clock or 5 o'clock after 3 it is 4 o'clock so 4 o'clock is the correct answer look at the second clock the hour hand is at 8 and the minute hand is at 12 so it's 8 o'clock we have to find out after 2 hours what will be the time whether it will be 9 o'clock 10 o'clock or 6 o'clock okay so after 8 let's count 9 and 10 so it is 10 o'clock okay after 8 o'clock after 2 hours the timing will be 10 o'clock Let's see the next clock. The hour hand is at nine, and the minute hand is at twelve. So, what is the time in the clock? Nine o'clock. Very good. And we have to find out after three hours what will be the time. Twelve o'clock, six o'clock, or two o'clock. What will be the time after three hours? Ten, eleven, and twelve. So, the answer will be twelve o'clock. 
so after 9 o'clock after 3 hours the time will be 12 o'clock Now let's do the next one, next exercise. The hour hand is at 2 and minute hand is at 12. We have to find out before 1 hour what was the time. Whether it is 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock or 5 o'clock. Very good, 1 o'clock. Before 2 it was 1 o'clock. Now let's go to the next wall, next clock. The hour hand is at 9 and the minute hand is at 12. And we have to find out before 3 hours what was the time. Right, 6 o'clock. See, 9 o'clock you have to go backward. 8, 7 and 6. So, before, nine, before 3 hours the time was 6 o'clock. Now, let's see the next clock. The hour hand is at 2. And minute hand is at 12. Before 2 hours, what was the time? Right, 12 o'clock. Go backward again. 1 and 2. 1 and 12. So, before 2 hours, the timing was 12 o'clock. Reading the minute. Look at the moment of the hands in a working clock. The minute hand is more faster than the hour hand. The minute hand is more faster than the hour hand. Minute hand rotates around through the small marks. The minute hand crosses every small mark in the clock. You can see there are small marks in the clock. And there are altogether 60 lines in the clock. It starts from 1 and ends at 12. Each mark is called a minute. There are 60 such small marks and each called minute. Children, as I told you all, there are small, small marks present in the clock. And all together there are 60 marks. One mark makes one minute. Then second one, two minutes. Third mark, three minutes. Fourth mark, four minutes. And fifth mark makes fifth Five minutes. The minute hand takes five minutes to go from one number to the next, and the hour hand takes sixty minutes to go from one number to the next. Minute hand takes five minutes to move from one number to the other. It takes 60 minutes for minute hand to complete one round from 12 back to 12. 60 minutes makes one hour. Children, you can see the long hand. It is also called a minute hand. If it moves from one number to the other number, to go to the next number, it takes 5 minutes. This now you can see this is our hand. It takes 60 minutes to go from one number to the other number. And you all know that 60 minutes make one hour. This is a minute hand. When the minute hand moves towards 1, 5 minutes gets complete. When it is at 2, 10 minutes gets complete. When it is at 3, 15 minutes gets complete. When it is at 4, 20 minutes. When it is at 5, 25 minutes. When it is at 6, 30 minutes gets complete. When it is at 7, 35 minutes. When it is at 8, 40 minutes. When it is at 9, 45 minutes. When it is at 10, 50 minutes. When it is at 11, 55 minutes. And when it is at 12, 60 minutes gets complete. Means complete 1 hour. 60 minutes makes 1 hour. Children, if you go to see, this is 5 tables. When a minute hand completes 1 round, an hour hand moves 1 number ahead. Now here we can see 
just now we saw when the minute hand moves to 1 5 minutes gets complete when it is on 2 10 minutes gets complete and so on therefore when the minute hand completes one round that is 60 minutes and our hand moves to the next number for an example what is the time shown in this clock one o'clock right so when the minute hand completes the full one round the hour hand moves to the next number that is number two so the time go given over here is two o'clock now this clock is showing the time six o'clock when the minute hand moves to one the time is five minutes past six when it is at two ten minutes past six when it is at three 15 minutes past 6 when it is at 4 20 minutes past 6 when it is at 5 25 minutes past 6 when it is at 6 30 minutes past 6 when it is at 7 35 minutes past 6 when it is at 8 40 minutes past 6 when it is at 9 45 minutes past 6 when it is at 10 50 minutes past 6 when it is at 11 55 minutes past 6 and when it is at 12 the hour hand moves to the next number that is 7 so the time shown over here is 7 o'clock when hour hand and minute hand are at 12 it's 12 o'clock children you can see the hour hand as well as the minute hand are at 12 so whenever both the hands are on 12, that means the time is 12 o'clock. The hour hand is between 7 and 8 and the minute hand is at 3. So what is the time? Yes, 15 minutes past 7. Let's see the next clock. The hour hand is between 9 and 10 and the minute hand is at 6. So what is the time? Yes, 30 minutes past 9. The hour hand is between 11 and 12 and the minute hand is at 9. So what is the time? Very good. 45 minutes past 11. Write in hours and minutes the time that each clock is showing. Here some clocks are shown and let us observe it carefully and say the time. Look at the first clock. The hour hand is between 1 and 2. And the minute hand is at 9. So what is the time? Yes, you are right. 45 minutes past 1. Look at the second clock. The hour hand is between 2 and 3. And minute hand is at 7. So what is the time? Right, 35 minutes past 2. Now, the third clock, the time is 15 minutes past 10. Draw the hands in these clocks for the given time. Here the clocks and the time is already given. We have to draw minute hand and the hour hand for the same. The first clock, the time is given is 10 minutes past 5. So, we have to draw the minute hand and the hour hand. The minute hand is at 2 and the hour hand is between 5 and 6. 15 minutes past 12. So the minute hand will be at 3 and hour hand will be between 12 and 1. 25 minutes past 4. The minute hand will be at 5 and the hour hand will be between 
फोर एंड फाइव using the terms a quarter past half past and a quarter to the hour hand is between 1 and 2 and the minute hand is on 3 it is 15 minutes past 1 we can see over here hour hand is between 1 and 2 and the minute hand is on 3 we can say the time in other way also now you can see the clock towards your right the portion in yellow color from 12 to 3 is called a quarter past in the clock our hand is between 1 and 2 and the minute hand is at 3 so the time is quarter past 1 okay this portion you can see is a quarter past so whenever the minute hand is on 3 we have to say quarter past and whichever number okay children now over here the time is a quarter past 1 or it can be said as 15 minutes past 1 both the answers are correct and you can say it in the both the ways it's 30 minutes past 2 when 2 hours and half an hour half past we say it is half past 2 or 30 minutes past 1 children here we can see the hour hand is between 2 and 3 and minute hand is on 6 so we can say the time over here is 30 minutes past 2 now you can see the circle or the clock towards your right okay and the portion in yellow color from 12 to 6 this distance is called half past okay minute hand when minute hand was on 3 that means it was quarter past but when the minute hand is on 6 it becomes half past okay children so the time over here is half past 2 or it can be said 3 min 30 minutes past 2 okay children you can see this part from 12 to 6 is called half past now let's see a quarter to it is 45 minutes past 12 this can be also read as a quarter to 1 now minute hand is at 9 and hour hand is between 12 and 1 so the timing is 45 minutes past 12 this can be read as quarter to 1 children just now we saw the minute hand was at 3 okay so the distance between 12 and 3 is quarter past now the distance between 12 and 6 is half past okay when whenever the minute hand is at 6 that means half past and whenever the minute hand is at 9 that means quarter 2 okay so quarter to 1 or 45 minutes past 12 both the answer are both the answers are correct or you can say in both the ways now let's do the next exercise what is the time 15 minutes past 9 or quarter past 9 what is the time in this clock 15 minutes past 12 or quarter past 12 what is the time yes 45 minutes past 12 or quarter to 1 what is the time in this clock 45 minutes past 5 or quarter to 6 i hope so children you have understood this lesson thank you and god bless you all stay safe